Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel tutorials video, we are going to see that how can we use the different uh, steps to write a macro for ourselves. Now in the previous videos, we have already seen that how can we record the macros and the recording of the macros means that uh, we just did some steps. We performed some steps and all those steps that we performed on Microsoft Excel were recorded in the form of the codes that was present in the visual basics for the applications editor and uh, using those steps we can just reproduce those macros and this code we had already seen when we edited the macro so if you want you can just go to this macros tab select on any macro and click on edit so here you can see that this is the visual basic for applications editor where all our macros are present now uh, we had created these macros by just providing it with some of the steps we performed some steps at the excel and at the back end this actual code was stored now what we did was used the front end so how if uh, we want to use the back end to create a macros so that is another step and that is another way how you can just write a macro for yourself so in this video we are going to discuss that um, actually how can we write macros for ourselves so for that what we are going to do is first of all just close this uh, vba then we are going to come back to our excel now here we are going to begin writing our macros so for writing the macros what you got to do is there are two steps first step is partial writing and uh, the second step is full writing now what in the partial writing we are going to do is just select any of the cell then uh, go to this uh, record macro tab and just provide it with any name like uh, macro underscore partial and provide it with some kind of a shortcut key like control shift w or control shift e i'm going to provide then provide it with any description that you want like partial and click on ok now without performing any of the steps you gotta stop its recording now when you do that uh, you can just go to this macro tab once again and you will see that macro partial has now been created now you have created this macro using the GUI steps or the front end of Microsoft Excel. Now whatever steps that you want to perform into it, you can uh, write it using the Visual Basic code. So how can you do that? You can just select this macro, go to edit and you can see that uh, this macro is already being created with some of the comments like the name of the macro, the description of the macro which we had just provided as partial then the keyboard shortcut for the macro as control shift and e now it has no code in it which means you can provide it with um, any code that you like now what i'm going to do for it is i'm going to um, just simply go to my above macros and uh, first of all this is this month macro in which what i had done is selected a cell and then provided it with some text so these two lines of codes are first for selecting a cell and then uh, writing any kind of matter into it. So I'm just going to copy them. So for that, you can just select them and press Ctrl C to copy it and then come back to your macro and press Ctrl V to paste it. Now you can see that in the range uh, cell, a cell number is provided. Now the cell address or the cell number is unique and you can provide it to any cell so what i'm going to do is provide it with cell number like z2 so i'm going to select a cell uh, which is denoted by the name as z2 then what i'm going to provide it is with a data so what data i'm going to provide it is test macro All right, now what I'm going to do is just press enter and just paste this code once again. Then uh, you can see that um, now we have to select any other cell. So this time I'm going to provide it with cell Y2 and I'm going to provide uh, it with only serial number. Then I'm going to offset it a little bit. So 
for that what i'm going to do is just go to my second macro that was the macro one which had a relative referencing in it so i'm going to copy this line that is active cell dot offset like this just copy it and come over here and paste it over here so it's active cell dot offset that how much you want to offset this is the x coordinate and that is the y coordinate y coordinate means how much you want to offset in the column manner and this first argument is used to tell you that how much you want to offset in the rows manner so here i'm going to offset my uh, active cell by two rows and no column so i'm going to provide it with active cell dot offset two comma zero and the rest of the things i'm going to keep same then i'm going to provide it with some data so i'm just going to copy this line of code and then just press Control v to paste it over here and here i'm going to provide it with a message as end macro like this so this is how i have created my macro using the codes now this code can be anything that you want and um, it is very simple or uh, you got to just know something about visual basic or you can just use the simple copy paste method apart from that what i'm going to do is press enter and provide it with a message box so i'm going to type in msg box this means that a message box will be shown and i'm going to show a message so i'm going to type in programming knowledge like this then i'm going to press enter and i'm going to provide it with any other message box like this and here i'm going to provide ms excel like this so using these two lines of code what will it do is it would provide us with a message box all right so this is all that i have written in this macro then i'm going to click on run and as soon as i uh, clicked on run then you can see that at the column z2 this test macro is written at the uh, cell number y2 this s no is written then i had asked it to offset by two rows and no columns so two rows means at y4 this end macro message is now written and after that there was a message box provided so in the message box what i had given it is the message as programming knowledge so now this message box is shown and as soon as i click on okay another message box that i had provided that contained the message as ms excel is now provided so you can click on okay and that is uh, this whole code has now been run of the macro partial that we had created now you can just close this vba and uh you can go to any other sheet and just use its shortcut which was control shift and e and you can see that uh, this macro has already been started it has executed itself and uh, that is uh, what it shows that the macro that we had created although in the vba uh using the back end code it behaves similarly as a macro that we had already created using the front end microsoft excel now this was about how you can create a partial macro or a macro using the uh, partial back end methods now how can you create a macro from scratch if you want to just create it all the macros in the visual basic for applications editor how can you do that so what you got to do is just go to your developer tab and here is the visual basic you can just go to it and here you can begin writing your own macro so what you got to do is where this end sub line is present you got to press enter then um, this means that this macro has ended wherever this end sub line is then you can just write the keyword sub and put a space then provide it with a name now this name is the macro name so i'm just going to provide it with macro vba this means it is a back end macro and then press enter 
now as soon as you do that you might have noticed that this line is now created over here a set of parentheses is written over here and this end sub is uh, written this means that macro vba is now a sub procedure and uh, using this macro vba we have created a new macro for ourselves now you can provide it with any code that you want suppose i'm just going to copy these two lines of code over here and paste them over here then in the range i'm going to provide it with a3 so i'm going to make sure that this is my macro code that is in the cell a3 uh, you got to select that cell and provide it with a, a content like test macro then i'm going to click on run and as soon as i do that you can see that in the sheet 8 this uh, a3 cell is now containing this test macro now what if you want to reproduce it you can just go to sheet 1 in the sheet one you can see that this a3 cell has no contents you can just go to macros tab you can see this macro vba is already present over here although we had created it uh, in the back end using vba editor then you can just select this macro click on run and as soon as you do that you can see that this macro steps have been reproduced so that is all about macros how can you record the macros how can you delete the macros? How can you edit the macros? How can you run them using the shortcut keys? What is the long method of running the macros? And how can you create them using the backend VBA code? That is all about the macros. And thanks for watching the video. Goodbye.